This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. Uh, hi, my name is Peter Schwarm from the Metro Desk, and today I'm writing about the services for Myra Kraft. Uh, she uh, is a well-known philanthropist uh, and the wife of Patriots owner Robert Kraft. Uh, she died uh, Wednesday. Uh, the mood inside uh, the temple uh, in Newton was uh, very uh, somber. Um, uh, one person said it was as if something had been irreparably broken. Uh, she was uh, immensely uh, well loved in the Boston area. She devoted countless hours to charitable um, causes, uh, worked uh, on a personal level very tirelessly for them. Uh, she uh, was just widely admired uh, as uh, a devoted family woman and uh, who also just gave very uh, generously and sincerely of herself. Her four sons in, in their uh, eulogies, they mentioned what a wonderful mother she was and told uh, several uh, charming stories to that effect. And they also mentioned uh, that uh, what a, a special bond she had with her husband, Robert. Uh, they had been married uh, for 48 years, and uh, it was, uh, I think, what one person called a lifelong love affair, uh, and that they uh, spent countless hours together, especially in the last few months, uh, and, and treasured every moment. The rabbi uh, who presided over the service actually mentioned that uh, only Myra Kraft could have drawn such an eclectic group uh, among the 1,600 mourners today. Uh, there were really dignitaries from, from all walks of life, from uh, the church, from academia, uh, from uh, high finance, uh, to many uh, uh, football players, both past and present uh, Patriots. Uh, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell was there, Bill Belichick, the coach of the Patriots was there, Tom Brady, the quarterback. Uh, many uh, former Patriots, such as Drew Bledsoe, uh, uh, Lawyer Malloy, Troy Brown, they were in attendance as well.